Okay, now we got the mold ready. It's ready to be cut. We're gonna use a number 12 blade. It's the one that is curved like this. And make sure you don't have the finger in front of the blade. You make an incision here about two millimeters deep all the way around. Like that, then you come over here, you get a file, you anneal the uh, the tip, you bend it, make sure you have a point over here so you can hold it more and you can pull it. And there's two ways of doing it. You can use this or you can use uh, a vise. This is a vise. We're gonna do two with the uh, file and two with the vise. The two incisions, we hold it. Cut it. That's one male and one female. That's done. Now we're gonna be using this. It's the same thing, but uh, this is the one that I like the best. I have more control here. There we go. Now we're going to cut it down with the sprue. Make sure that the blade doesn't touch the metal because as soon as the, uh, the blade touches the metal, it loses sharpness. Cutting all around the ring now, on top of the prongs. Now you pull and you cut the gallery out completely. Okay, that's ready. We already cut all the way around. Now we're gonna disconnect the two halves. Now this is uh, totally disconnected. 
we're gonna pull the mole and we're gonna be cutting the rubber that goes inside the uh, the chamber of the, where the diamonds go Done. Now we're going to disconnect the, the gallery from the other side. That's the only thing holding now the ring inside the, the mall is the gallery. It's already out. Now we change blades. Because I touched the metal about 20 times. Now we make an incision through one of the prongs over here. When you do this, make sure that you press the uh, the rubber and then you go down as thick as the ring is all the way around in a spiral then you start cutting again now let's do this let's take the plug first It took me a while to figure this out because we couldn't get the uh, the wax out of the rubber mold on the tenator rings without breaking the prongs. This is the way to do it without breaking the prongs. We call it the gun because we put the finger in, pull the trigger. Now we open this up here through the prongs in a spiral. You do one at a time.
then you know you leave it to, uh, together here don't take this out just make sure it's uh, uh, stay together so you come over here you get three parts you got this this and this here before you put it together Make sure you spray it. Then you put baby powder. Drop it on the table and you put about eight pounds of pressure. Let's see what comes out of here. First thing that you do, you unplug the ring. The wax is still soft, because I just injected it. But see, it comes out perfect. There's no broken prongs, and I didn't bend any of the prongs. So it's a perfect ring for reproduction. Just clean up a little bit the, the wax and it's good for casting. Thank you very much.